It's day 34 of turning this dad bod into a single digit body fat. And we're about to go freaking freck up some chest. Energy drink of the day is the C4 frozen bombsicle. Uh, we're gonna give it three drinks and then rate it one to 10. I mean, it's pretty solid. It tastes just like the, uh, the Bombsicle Popsicles. It doesn't have a strong taste. I think sometimes that's good though. I would say seven out of 10. It's gonna be a great day. There's not much to talk about. Let's go hit chest. Now you guys know I usually don't do cardio first thing in the morning, or not, not for, before my workout is what I'm saying. But I'm waiting on a buddy that's coming to work chest with me, so. I figured, you know what, we'll just get it in. We might be able to get all, all 20 minutes done, I don't know, but it'll give us a chance to warm up anyways because I'm freaking cold and I hate being cold going into a workout. So I was like, we'll just jump on here and get what we can done. We got, we got weigh-ins tomorrow, so that's always exciting because you want to see those results, you know? I, 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 I only allow myself to weigh in one time a week Every once in a while, I'll weigh in twice. Like I'll do a midweek and then a Sunday, but I haven't been doing that because I feel like if you put it off and you just weigh one time a week, then you'll, uh, it's a little bit more exciting because you see that full pound or full two pounds come off and uh, it'll push you harder. Results are what's gonna keep you going, keep you motivated. As long as you're staying dialed with your cardio, dialed with your workout, dialed with your diet, and you see those results, get your water intake in, watch your electrolytes, like you do the little things every day to see the little to big results at the end of the week and it just keeps you motivated. But we're gonna get this cardio knocked out and then we'll uh, start chest. All right, you know we had to start it on the Smith machine. Getting a little warm here and then going heavy. We've already done one warm up set. This is pretty much a second warm up set. I, uh, I don't know, we'll see how heavy we go. I'm, you know, I'm waiting the day we get three plates. Probably the worst time to try to hit new maxes is when you're cutting and you're in a calorie deficit, but I really don't give a frick either, you know? Yeah, that feels really good. So we got two to three more sets here. And we'll just have to see how heavy we end up. All right, we're starting to move into some weight that's actually worth pushing maybe. I don't know. All weight's worth pushing, I guess, but uh, let's see where we go. Oh. I thought it was gonna die. I didn't know my spotter was gone. It's a struggle to get it on the Iraq. That was fun. Oh, I do not feel super strong. Doesn't matter. We're going with it. Not as heavy as I wanted to go, but it's the first workout. We ain't gotta die. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna we're pushing ourselves still. Don't get me wrong. I mean you're about to see some struggle, but we don't have to die, you know? Ugh. That's it. Woo! All right, we're done here. 
So you guys know I tried this for the first time last week and absolutely fell in love with this machine. We might do freaking eight sets here, I don't know. I just get excited when we come to this machine because it's just freaking amazing. So, we're gonna try to load this thing up though. I wanna try to go to where we can't even move it. So, the way that it applies the pressure and keeps the pressure directly in the right place, it's pretty unbeatable. up the weight and really push it. That's where we're at. Can't get a big chest sitting at the house. That's a fact. Ooh. Let's get it. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Every set should look like absolute failure. If you take every set to absolute failure, no matter what weight you're working with, you cannot lose. Win today, fail today. Does that go hand in hand? Looks like it. Whew. All right, we're gonna get one more regular set here, and then we're gonna finish with a drop set here. And then I'm thinking probably one more machine and then flies. A little bit of a long chest day, lots of sets, but we're getting it. Oh. Somebody say drop set? Oh yeah, that was me. We're only doing two sets here, so this is gonna be the last set here, and then we're going to fly, so let's push it. That's gonna finish this up. We did two sets here, and uh, 
That's a wrap. We killed chest today. I got some more cardio to do. Whew, great workout. Truly a beautiful chest day. I just love chest days. They're, they're my absolute favorite. I'm going to watch the fights tonight, so that's going to be tough for me. We go to Buffalo Wild Wings, and uh, we got to stay on diet. We got to stay dialed. Like, no cheat days. We're trying to get to single digit body fat. That means we can't frick around. So, they do have some grilled, um, like, you can get some, like, basically grilled chicken tenders, is what they are. They're not too bad. Um, I just got to be careful. I am going to probably get some sauces to go with it to help, and uh, water with lemon. You know, we might do another, like another energy drink because it'll be later, rise fuel or something like that. But either way, we just got to stay on diet. We got to stay locked in, no cheat days. So it is what it is. Today's verse of the day comes from John 13, 35. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Honestly, it's super simple to love one another, to treat people with respect, to just be a light in a dark place. You can do that. I'm telling you. Choose God. Choose love. I will see you tomorrow. Subscribe.